environmental intelligence can go all the way back to probably the late 1800s when observations were first systematically being made. The big breakthrough for weather really came with the advent of satellites. We first started seeing pictures of weather from space. And at that point, you could see entire weather systems at the same time. At Raytheon, we believe we have a unique presence across the entire weather enterprise. Currently, we have instruments in space that makes the observations themselves, such as the Beers instrument. These observations are collected across a number of spectral bands ranging from light we can see in the visible through light we cannot see in the infrared. Our ground system also provides the infrastructure and applications to command and control the spacecraft and manage the mission schedule for multiple spacecraft for the data that we route around the world. And then Raytheon's tools such as AWIPS for data visualization allow forecasters, people at the National Hurricane Center, for example, to look on a single display at data from JPSS, from other satellites. When you put all these data sets together on one screen, it provides the weather forecaster a much bigger and more complete picture of what's happening so they can make decisions with more confidence. Partnerships are invaluable to making it all work. Raytheon is proud to have been partnered with NASA and NOAA to continue to increase the resiliency of our nation for weather and climate events over the coming decades. Obviously, we can't control the weather and the climate, but the better we understand through observations and analyses of those things gives us a better chance to respond in advance and minimize the negative impacts of any particular event.